And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A big night so far for Dwight Howard. He had 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 block. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. Well, I see a team that's playing smart, moving the ball around to the open man, just taking what the defense gives them. There's a nice flow, a nice energy, a nice synergy to the game. Shaq, how do you think Portland played? Well, one thing happened that really helped them out. Their bench came in and played absolutely beautiful. Gave them a huge boost. Not just trying to hold court, but actually putting points on the scoreboard. These guys should be starting, Ernie. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. Thing 24 points from the field. They have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We come back right after this. wanted to be one of the first to kind of bring that back to the city so uh, my agent uh, my shoe company no one could have said anything to take me away from that that was a personal mission that I want and I knew what I was dealing with at that time but I think for other guys it's different some guys you know want more commercials they like to be in a bigger market some guys uh, don't want that and they're happy at staying uh, under the radar like a Tim Duncan as long as he's winning so I think for every guy is different and, and I really believe that you have to make that decision for yourself and your family first because if you do that then the fans wherever you go will be much happier for Greg Anthony Chris Webber and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2k sports see you later Utah out in front up by three and the second quarter will get underway just after this short break the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. Their largest deficit of the period was just four points. They were right there within shouting distance the entire time. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output from both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. And, uh, Kenny, what'd you see out there from the Jazz? So far, I love their commitment on the glass. Even when they were playing well, their rebounding remained a priority. And so far, the other side hasn't matched their efforts. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. The three-point shot has really, really helped them out. I don't always like to see teams rely on the three, but when it's dropping like that, I say roll with it. They keep setting good screens, running these pick and rolls, they'll be tough to beat. That'll do it for now. The second half of action coming right up. We'll be right back. folks that's gonna do it for now for Greg Anthony Doris Burke and David Alton this is Kevin Harlan thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time under lead by three and we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter The 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
We so hope you enjoyed our first half. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the halftime report. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. During one stretch, they trailed by seven, never falling behind too far. They asserted themselves nicely in the second quarter and now have a fairly comfortable five-point lead here at halftime. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, their ball movement was phenomenal. Now, they're in good position to win this game, large in part because of those assists. And this is the thing, Ernie. When you win as a team, you feel better about everything that happens. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on its heels. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. That'll do it for now. The second half of action coming right up. The defensive work they've done against Paul George has been a big factor. He hasn't done anywhere near the kind of damage we expected. Back right after this. They're behind by 17. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Kristaps Porzingis. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time. by four. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. During one stretch, they were leading by as many as 11, really playing as a unit. Most of their well-earned lead evaporated, though, as they ended up with just a two-point lead at the end of one. And just a monster offensive surge from them to close out the second quarter as they finished on a 14-5 run. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They obviously came in wanting to push the action. And so far, so good. They're looking to get easy transition baskets because the other team is not getting back on defense. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots. Gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible those guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, if you're a starter, you're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. and anchoring in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. do it tonight folks for our broadcast for greg anthony clark kellogg and david aldridge this is kevin harlan saying thanks for watching we'll see you next time
this from the American Airlines Arena. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Miami did not hesitate to set the pace. An exceptional game plan helped them open with a 12-4 run. By the end of the first quarter, their lead was seven. In quarter number two, they fought off several attempted rallies and actually pulled further out in front, ending the half up by eight. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game, Ernie. Kenny, what's your take on the Clippers? Well, they're trailing in this game because they're shooting under 35%. Now, I've got to give a lot of credit to the defense, forcing the shooters off their spots and making them feel uncomfortable. But if someone takes something away from you, you have to be able to adapt. So they need a whole new game plan because right now they're in trouble. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. Deficit will make it tough to come back. Heat lead by 15. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Folks, for our broadcast, for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. So it's Phoenix bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal, and that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. Andrew Wiggins led the way in the first half. He had 13 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. First two quarters from him were fun to watch. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Well, they're doing a great job of pushing the action and getting to the foul line. They aren't just pulling up for uncontested shots. They're making the defense react to them. In transition, on the dribble, and with those quick cuts, they're in attack mode. That's dangerous. To beat them, you need to force them to play more defensively. Shaq, what'd you think about Phoenix? Well, one thing happened that really helped them out. Their bench came in and played absolutely beautiful. Gave them a huge boost. Not just trying to hold court, but actually putting points on the scoreboard. These guys should be starting, Ernie. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. Points to end the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Their overall shot selection was better. And a milestone win for the season. This will push their victory total to 20 wins even. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Andrew Wiggins. Every time he shot it, it seemed it like it was for going Greg to Anthony, drop. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports.
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by Kenny the Jet Smith hey. and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Been working out. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. The biggest lead they were able to get out to during the first period was six points. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how San Antonio played? The area where they impressed me the most has been on the boards. When the shot's going up, everybody goes for it. It's just a matter of maintaining that energy, playing with that same kind of aggression in the final two quarters. Kenny, how do you think Dallas played? I was unimpressed, Ernie. Very unimpressed with their offense. You know, guys seem to be going through emotions, not cutting, not hustling. They failed to get back into a great offensive rhythm. They'll need to step it up big in the second half to cut into this lead. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. Point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Wraps it up for Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone. Quarter comes to a close. Austin on top. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie right. Johnson. Time for the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of the period, they held a three-point lead. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output from both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Efficiency, you know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Shaq, your take on Memphis. Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots. Gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible those guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, if you're a starter, you're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. That'll do it for now. The second half of action coming right up. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. That's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you next time.